Hello friends, welcome to BSP Solution. My name is Shubham Timre and today topic is work order in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Manufacturing Application. Overview of Manufacturing Work Order. So what is a Manufacturing Work Order? Manufacturing Work Order is nothing but it is a document or we can say that the group of document or schedule conveying authority for the manufacturer of specified parts or products in specified quantities okay so the manufacturing work order provides what you are making where you are making it and uh, it captures all the cost where the material is coming from and where the finished goods are going to go and what driving the demand for the item so depending on how you release your work order it is coming from back to back order or it is coming from configure to order or whatever the case might be okay so the manage work order features also provide necessary services and events to integrate with other internal uh, supply chain management modules for creation change management of work orders so the work order integrate with other SCM modules such as Oracle Fusion product model inventory costing Oracle supply chain orchestration okay and the planning central purchasing okay so so in at the product model the item and the item structure details are other attribute referenced from the product modules okay now at the second in inventory sub inventories locators serial lots and on hand quantities are referenced from the inventory now the costing so manufacturing cost management is performed by work order in the costings okay now another integration from supply chain orchestration so in oracle supply chain orchestration it creates supply in oracle manufacturing cloud so again sales order for back-to-back -back work orders and uh, the configure item work orders okay next is the planning central which creates work order as supply during the supply planning run uh now the purchasing so contract manufacturing and uh, outside manufacturing are enabled through purchasing so in this way manufacturing application is in is integrated with other scm modules other supply chain management modules now work order process flow so work order process flow basically start with search work orders so you can search your work order in the application okay so after searching you can edit your work order you can perform the mass update your work order and uh, you can print the work order okay or the work order reports so for your basic information you can search your work order in the application okay so in manufacturing application you can create standard work orders okay the standard transform work order rework work orders and you can create the non-standard work orders so normally when you create your standard work orders that's that's are going to be for a product or we can say that that's are going for a particular item so it will have particular work definition okay so work definition for which is used for your execution you can create transformation work order that will transform one part number into another number okay so transformation goes from one part number to another part number you have rework work order which is basically used for the repairing some item or repairing something or uh, we can say the fixing something okay that did not pass when it is used in the build the process okay so if your item is serialized then you can generate your serial number for that particular item you can generate the lot number for your item as well so you can 
do that at the beginning of work orders or you can uh, do, do that at the particular specific operation as well okay so in application you can add the operation you can edit the operation you can add the item or edit the items you can add the operation resources i operation resources like labor resources or we can set the equipment resources some machinery resources you can add and edit the resources okay so once you release the work order then it is ready to execute against that okay and again once you have completed the last unit of the work order will automatically complete and when you are satisfied with that all transactions are done so you can close your work order in application okay so work order for manufacturing okay so as a production supervisor you can use the manage work order page to efficiently create and manage your discrete manufacturing work orders and your process manufacturing work orders okay so the manage work order page is designed for easy navigation and capturing minimal mandatory information to quickly create and update your work order so it also allows you to create and mass update of your work order so discrete manufacturing you can do serialized okay and you can do at lot control or we can say that you can enable serialized manufacturing by associating predefined assembly serial number to that particular work order and you can create and manage all the different types of work order like a standard work order non-standard work order a rework work order transform work orders okay now next is the process manufacturing so in that generally you are doing things in batches for process manufacturing so while in case of discrete manufacturing you are making items like laptops monitor individual units where process manufacturing you are taking normally a formula and uh, you are creating something from that particular formula so for example taking the sugar cane as an example and turn into a uh, raw sugar first you take the cane then you can pulverize it and after that you can run through these um, particular manufacturing processes and at the end you have the finished good that is the raw sugar so as a part of that process you have some byproduct and uh, all of the sealage from breaking down the cane are the byproduct you have some amount of uh, co-product is as well you may get some molasses of there then at the last at your final output which is your raw sugar so in process manufacturing it allow multiple outputs in a work order to the particular model okay you can create a work order using a process name or we can set the batch quantity you can modify your you can do your scale your work order so let's say i am going to make a 1000 unit so whatever the unit of measure happens to be uh, i find that i have enough of material enough of raw material that i want to scale it up so i can do that in manufacturing process manufacturing work orders okay the last one that is uh, process manufacturing allow work orders for primary output and other output that to be yielded from an intermediate operation of the work orders okay okay so that's all about the overview of uh, work order in manufacturing so thanks for watching the video thank you so much